Samantha is a hairdresser who will choose to give a haircut to two brunettes rather than to one redhead. Why? It's obvious. This way, she will earn more. Both Mark and Daniel had a box of chocolates each. There were 12 chocolates in each box. Mark ate some sweets. Then Daniel opened his box and ate the same number of chocolates that were left in Mark's box. How many chocolates do the guys have together now? Together, they have 12 chocolates. You're trapped in a secret laboratory by a mad professor. You find a corridor ending with three doors. Behind the first door, there's a giant shark. Behind the second one, there's a deep hole with sharp metal spikes at the bottom. And the third door hides live electrical wires. Before you have time to pick uh -oh. one exit, the corridor starts to fill with water. Choose fast which door can save your life. Choose the second door. As soon as the corridor fills with water, you'll be able to swim over the spikes. Can you find three differences between these two pictures? Here you go, all three of them. How about these two rooms? Do you think you can find three differences? If you've spotted them all, congratulations! Now, look at these students and tell me who is cheating. It's this girl wearing a white t-shirt. She has the answers to the test written on her arm. Mark was an infamous robber. So smart, he was always one step ahead of the police. Mark's rivals were jealous of his skills. But one time, they found out that Mark had just got his hands on a precious necklace. His main competitor decided to steal this necklace from Mark to prove he was a more skilled thief. So he searched Mark's house, but didn't find the necklace. Disappointed, he put everything back in place and left. When Mark came back home, he immediately realized someone had been there. How did he figure it out? The bed is the clue. It looks different than before the rival's visit. Look at these people attentively. All of them are teachers, but one teacher is fake. Can you figure out which one? It's the guy on the left. Can you see his portrait over there on the wall? He's a wanted criminal. Now look at these two teachers. Which of them is a criminal? It's most probably the lady on the left. Look, there's something red on her sleeve. Is it blood? Put on your detective hat and tell me which grandma is not dangerous. Look at the reflection of the granny on the right. She seems to be a robot. This doesn't make her dangerous per se, but it's still weird. Michael had a powerful enemy who was a dark wizard. Once, he managed to kidnap the man and lock him on top of an incredibly high tower. In Michael's room, there was just one small window and no doors at all. But the wizard thought it wasn't enough. He set the tower on magic fire and apparated away. Michael knew he didn't have much time left. He looked around the room and saw three magic potions. The first one could make him inhumanly strong. The second would turn him into a vampire. 
and with the help of the third potion, he could summon any animal he wanted. Which potion should he drink? Well, even if he destroyed the tower with his newly acquired strength, it wouldn't help him with the magic fire. No animal could help him escape from the tower. But if he chose to become a vampire, he would be able to turn into a bat and simply fly away. Damien left a $100 bill lying on his desk and left for work. When he came back, the money wasn't there. Hmm, no surprise. Uh The cook explained that she had put the bill under the book lying on the table. But when Damien checked, there was nothing there. Then the housekeeper said that she had moved the money inside the book between pages 10 and 11 to keep it safe. But again, there was nothing inside the book. And finally, the gardener said that he had seen the money sticking out of the book and placed the bill between pages 13 and 14. Who took the money? It was the gardener. Pages 13 and 14 are two sides of the same page. There were just two days remaining before an important basketball competition, when one of the main players of one of the teams went missing. The last time, he was seen at lunchtime. There were three suspects, Michael, Ethan, and John. The police interviewed the three of them and got the following answers. When the player disappeared, Michael was giving autographs to some pretty girls. Ethan had sprained his ankle and was getting a massage. And John was taking a shower before the training. Who is a liar? It's John. It doesn't make any sense to take a shower before the training. Richard was walking through the park after work when somebody hit him on the head from behind. When he woke up, he was in a well. Luckily, there wasn't too much water in it. But as soon as Richard tried to climb out of the well, he realized the walls were too slippery. The man noticed a rope with a bucket tied to it. The bucket was hanging pretty low, but try as he might, Richard couldn't reach it. However, in 15 minutes, the man was running away from the dangerous place. Can you figure out how Richard escaped? The man took his shoes off and threw them into the bucket. It got down, and Richard managed to escape. On the outskirts of town, there was a haunted house. A group of friends decided to check if the house lived up to its reputation. They went there at night. But as soon as they reached their destination, one guy refused to go inside and tried to stop the others. But they just laughed at him and entered the place, leaving him behind. He heard some terrible crashing sounds coming from the house, and then everything went still. The guy never saw his friends again. How did he understand there was something seriously wrong with the house? The guy who stayed behind was very attentive. He noticed that there were lots of footprints leading towards the house, but none going away. Captain Black was on the bridge of a spacecraft when the engineer informed him they had problems with the engine. They needed to land soon to repair it. There were three planets on their way. One was freezing cold and covered with ice. The second was boiling hot and covered with molten lava. And the third planet was covered with acid that could easily destroy their ship. What planet did the captain choose? Black chose the cold planet, since very low temperatures aren't a problem for a spaceship. Four boys are lined up on several steps, all of them facing in the same direction. A brick wall separates the fourth boy from the rest. Boy number one can see boys number two and number three. Boy number two can see boy number three. All boy number three sees is the wall. And boy number four doesn't see the others. The boys are wearing hats, and they know that two of the hats are white and two are black. 
Which boy will be the first to figure out and shout out the color of the hat he's wearing if the boys aren't allowed to turn, talk to each other, or take their hats off? It'll be boy number two. Boys three and four can't see each other's hats. Boy number one sees one black hat and one white hat and knows that his hat can either be white or black. Boy number two sees one black hat. He realizes that if he was also wearing a black hat, boy number one would understand that his hat is white. And since he hasn't shouted yet, it means that boy number two is wearing a white hat. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.